For artists and creators out there who are feeling stuck or blocked, this is exercise number two to help you defeat that funk. By the end of today's video, I want you to be able to objectively look at where you're at, how you got here, and where you're headed, in order that you can move forward with your creativity and projects with more confidence and purpose. I like to think of my imagination or creativity like building a castle. Now, you know the old parables about building your house out of straw or sticks or a bad foundation. Sometimes people build their foundations on sand or loose dirt and one storm comes along and crashes them. You get the idea. For me, the foundation that we build our imagination and creativity upon goes all the way back to why you wanted to do it in the first place. So step one of today's exercise is to remember why you started. What made you want to begin? What was your earliest memory of even wanting to make art or knowing that it was possible? I'll share with you my memory, my moment, the epiphany. It was March of 1984 and I was like eight years old or something and I loved playing with G.I. Joe action figures. I loved reading the character bios on the back of the cards and then I'd make up my own stories and playing them out with my friends in what seemed to be movies in our minds. I would oftentimes rename the characters or give them different backstories based on how they looked or whatever. You know, kid stuff. One day I walked into the Dairy Mart convenience store and on the magazine rack was G.I. Joe number 21. What's known as the silent issue because there are no words in it. The story takes place all in visuals as Snake Eyes infiltrates uh, Cobra headquarters to uh, save Scarlet. And I can still very vividly remember the moment that I thought to myself, somebody made this. Somebody drew these characters without words. And if somebody out there drew this, then I could too. I could make up characters on paper and tell stories just like I did with my action figures and get paid for it. This was somebody's job. So what do you want to be when you grow up? I want to do this. And from about that day forward, that's all I wanted to do. And so I did. Now, sure, it was a long road from 1984 until I was actually drawing comics full time. But the point is, that was the moment for me. And I recall it clearly even now. Most artists, especially around comics, know their moment and can tell you what it is. Maybe you've forgotten yours. And it's more than just revisiting the moment. I'm revisiting that feeling that I had. And you know, thinking back on that feeling now, 38 years ago for me, that feeling still gives me the same kind of positive energy. It was the feeling of possibility, a real feeling of wonder. So what is your moment? Can you remember it? Pause and go back there now, just for a minute. My first attempts at drawing anything like this were rubbish, but I was so caught up in that feeling, that very carefree and creative feeling. And then like most things, the real world will start crashing in and kind of start telling you that this or that is impossible, that you have to achieve A, B, C, or X, Y, Z to be truly successful. I even had my high school art teacher tell my parents that I had cartoon tunnel vision. I know this weight, these outside doubts, these negative feeling moments have killed many dreams. All the times that I've ever felt truly successful and happy in my life didn't have anything to do with the amount of money I was making, but it was the amount of that original feeling that I had when I was doing my work, whatever that work was. Success does not have to mean fortune and glory. It could mean positive mental health and happiness. That is truly the best foundation to draw upon. And when you start there, the rest will follow. So step two, let's get back into that zone. Let's talk a minute now about the zone. For me, above all else, the act of drawing and getting into that zone brings me a peaceful feeling. It's kind of my happy place. Without being able to tap into that zone, I feel like I'm dead inside or like I'm just a zombie meandering uh, through life. <laughs> and you know when you're in the zone, when you forget all time and it just flies by and your mind is racing with new ideas and possibilities. Once you've been to this place in your own mind, you wanna go back there and you wanna have this feeling again and again, the feeling that anything is possible in that zone. And when you're feeling stuck, it can seem like that entry to that zone is blocked for good, caved in. So let's clear out that rubbish and get you back there again, back to the zone. Exercise number two, I want you to go back and look through your old drawings. Don't dread it, find the ones that still bring you joy and note the ones that you see where you can remember that feeling that you had when you were actually drawing them. Don't judge them on the surface. Now. Simply pick one of your older drawings that jumped out at you and redraw it. Try to think about that personal moment and that feeling while you do this. 
Again, nobody's keeping score but bonus points if you share it with me in a DM or post it in the comments below. When you do this exercise, you're gonna feel more on solid ground, and now your mind is moving again. Now the next step, now that we got you on this solid ground, is we wanna build something on that foundation of yours. And I think the best way to do that is with some storytelling, some four panel storytelling. Ready to dive in? Click over there or the link in the description, and I'll see you on the other side. Stay encouraged out there.